One of the questions I get most often from parents is when do I transition my child from a rear facing car seat to a forward facing car seat? My answer is always starting with this. Don't be in a rush. Children are five times safer rear facing than they are forward facing. Be sure to use each car seat to its maximum height and weight limits before transitioning. Check the label on your own car seat for its limits before switching to a forward facing car seat with a five point harness. When that time comes, here are some key things to keep in mind. There are a few types of forward facing car seats. Each seat may have different weight and height limits, but all are safe options. Be sure to review the specifications and limits for the car seat that you purchase. There are two different ways that forward facing seats can be installed. The first that we're going to demonstrate is using the vehicle seat belt. First, mom finds the correct belt path and runs the seat belt through the path to buckle it. Second, mom slowly pulls the seat belt all the way out to the end. Then she'll hear a clicking noise as the seat belt goes back in. This tells you the seat belt is locked. Now, it's important to get good leverage and tighten the seat belt. You'll also want to use the tether. In this vehicle, the tether routes under the head restraint and attaches to the back of the seat. Be sure to check your car manual for the location of the tether. The second option is with the vehicle's lower anchor and tethers for children or latch system. Again, every car is different, so you need to be sure to check your owner's manual for approved seating positions for lower anchors. Here is an important point when it comes to the latch system. The vehicle weight limits cannot exceed 65 pounds child plus car seat weight. You can find that information in your vehicle owner's manual and your car seat labels. Also, Never use the seat belt and lower anchors at the same time. Always use the tether when forward facing. Now let's cover a few key points for safely harnessing your child in a forward facing car seat. When forward facing, the straps of the car seat must come out of the seat at or above the height of the shoulders. Straps should be tight through the hips and shoulders. Be sure there is no slack at the top of the shoulders. If you can pinch the fabric, it's still too loose. And the chest clip should always sit even with the child's armpits. Finally, kids should ride in a car seat with a five point harness facing the front of the car until they reach the maximum height or weight limit of that seat. We recommend until at least five years or 50 pounds. Through the Injury Prevention Program at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, we can help you to make sure that your car seat is installed correctly and your child is harnessed properly in a forward-facing car seat. Or we can help you locate a certified car seat technician in your area. We are here to help you. Please visit us at the Injury Prevention section of the Helen DeVos Children's Hospital website. Be sure to look for another episode of Keeping Your Children Safe. This series is sponsored by the State of Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. Be safe.